In this video, Jack is going to share his method for bottom hollowing this vase, installing a grain match plug, and concealing the parting line. Okay. Then what we're going to drill in here with a wide bit, then we're going to come with a smaller bit and drill up to right here. And then once we get it that way, we're going to punch a half inch all the way through this thing and out into the chuck. Okay. Okay. And that's going to be our opening, but also that's going to be our center for the, for the piece when we turn it around and start creating the shape hollow this down there so we'll be taking out that stuff there this, this these are already empty so we'll be make this you know however however thin it takes to make to make the piece feel light mm -hmm. if it doesn't feel light it feels like it's just a heavy piece it's going to feel like you just drill a hole in there and say hi how you doing this is the base mm -hmm. so we want to make this thing feel like a balloon on the end of a, of a stick Making this thing as small because so our chuck is going to be on here, and then this is going to stick out beyond the chuck. So that will end up being the plug for the bottom. More or that or is going to be the plug for the bottom. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, only because I'm going to do something that you have to do, and that's cut this thing off it's right here. That's 15 degrees. make it a little smaller than this but so now you know what size yeah well, I'll start making my head. Two. Get on. all gonna come off but uh, and this is what we're gonna be this just makes it safe to turn right now. yeah I believe cutting it finally we're going to uh, even saturate this thing more because this is an integral part of the whole piece back here, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, using this bowl, this to turn the, the the spout and everything else. I'll make it a little easier for us to do. Uh, I'm pretty good, but I'll turn it on just a second. Let make sure we don't have a whole lot of run out or bad stuff happening. And, and both of them running through. Okay, I will do this. I'll take it back over here, grab this CA, I'll make this sucker. Fix it up. Yeah, because it's, it's, we're going to be turning this whole bowl with this after a while. Because you want this sucker to be nice and solid. Remember, we had a pencil line where our, where we're gonna right, where we're exactly. gonna where our piece is gonna go. So we'll be going at an angle from there, but we're not gonna do it now. What we're gonna do now is generally get some weight off of this because we're gonna hollow this. Mm -hmm. I'll be not far with the beef though. That that works for me. And then a little bit more. Look where I want to go, and I, I'll take it down here really close to that. That didn't give me much fuss at all, is it? Yeah, smaller bit, sharper. I want to go all the way through this and out into this chunk with a half inch. The tendon and into the chuck, and this is an important step. through that tendon, so that's our, that's our biggest thing. We're going 
going to go, we're going to go thinner. Cause we're... Taking it down to, to almost the chuck there. So I'm going to make it a little wider, almost out to where I put that line. We've started to fit. Okay. Okay. So now you just Not widen. horrible. Now I'm going to widen this one down right. here a little bit so that, right. that it goes in. You're burning thing up. And you can leave it in there until it actually burns. But you see where we're hitting. Uh, yep, there's a shiny burnished area yeah. there. So. Kind of liking where we are. I'm going to give it a little bit of love with the with the skew, and then I'll show you where we start to get. You are going to sand. You're going to lap that in with that sandpaper right there. Oh yeah. Now yeah, you can do it. The, Boy, it gets much quicker. That is worth the price of admission right there. Okay. Now see, in, in uh, metal work, piping work, we call this lapping it in. Lapping it in. Oops. Sandpaper went around the corner. Yeah. And as you get finer your sandpaper, the sandpaper is less grabby because it's finer grit, mm -hmm. but it also is thinner. Pull it away. Well, we're meeting right out here. See it? Getting yeah. close to the very end. Yeah, aren't we? I like that. There we are. Yeah. You're gonna see everything's gonna come right out on, on point here. <laughs> Thanks so much. Alright, line up my holes again. Yeah, you got one chance to get this right. Yep. Is it there or is it? I think that might be it, huh? Got it. Oh, you got to. In a minute, we're going to turn this around and start this playing. This has to be strong. And it may or may not hold up, but we I think we will because... It's time to flip the piece. you put here but yeah. definitely where my tailstock is going to right. hit and I have the round hole and the, and the center hole so we're going to put it in here like so and we're going to there's a little run out doesn't matter that's amazing that's that little, pretty damn good yeah, that little bitty connect a little bitty uh, bit of connection provides the drive for this
right there. It's just an accent line. That's not a yeah. joint. Exactly. <laughs> Very cool. That is okay. such and such a nice alignment. You got your distraction ring that. down we, there. Look how we got these lines all pretty well close. All going. Yeah, together. that matches up so See nice. See how nice that is there? Yes, it is. Very, very nice. Now, this is your lacquer cut, right? Yeah. Same as you and a three to one uh, lacquer thinner? Lacquer and lacquer thinner. Okay. Sand is sealer and lacquer thinner. Okay. Oh, it's popping so nice. So I give you a rough idea of what we got to have. It's going to be beautiful. Thank you.